I'm Christian Randall. Um, you're out at Sextonville today on our newly purchased property and our small enterprise is called Northern Rivers Farms. So we're 683 acres and it's uh, a very typical property of the Northern Rivers. It's got your great Australian hardwoods and we've got some grazing country which makes for a great mix environment in the farm. To be successful in, in our main vision is to be here full time is to have these incomes coming into the farm that are diversified. Our first one was apiary, because we just love bees. My wife is absolutely dedicated to, to getting that up and running. We've got a 500 hive license to run out here. Cattle is, is the obvious choice up here. We, we've got great country for cattle, but we are definitely interested in the limousine breed. We've got an abu who's got them, and they seem to do well on this country. And goats. Uh, goats are really, really important. We think not really well utilised up here in, in the Northern Rivers, and we think we could take that another step further. Forestry, timber, and how to harvest that is, is really key to try and get the most out of our land. We've got a lot of timber country. So we can harvest timber off our property and make an income from that. So the challenge is, is really to be able to understand your property and to be able to use a framework to be able to develop that property into some productive farmland. Christian came to myself and my colleague John back in September 2017, just when the legislation had changed. The pasture expansion code is working well on the areas of the property that are adjacent to existing pastures. The private native forestry code works well here on the steeper country that's quite heavily timbered. Private native forestry was uh, a code that gave us the flexibility to create a, a logging area for ourselves which we could then make economically viable. And pasture expansion, we found, was a, a flexible code that could work with our, with our forest. And the, the key there really is a thinning program, uh, down to 150 stems per hectare. And for us, that gives the eucalypts room to grow, but also gave us a chance to get bush grasses back on the ground and providing shade for our livestock. So, clear the PNF code, different to our Pasture expansion. We have to look after some habitat trees as part of the retention program in this one. And in this case, we're going to mark this old, old mature tree as a habitat tree. We think that with our investment in time, we could actually return this to a healthy forest. So there are a lot of those big Australian hardwood trees that need room to grow, the, the eucalypt species. And using silviculture, we hope to be able to put that processes in. We will see our forest turn from a lock-up, which is overstocked trees, to be able to remove those, to let the young ones come through and actually to turn that forest back into a productive forest for a farm. This was very much a predominant Australian hardwoods diversified forest, and that's what we plan to leave it at. Really, I guess the underlying part of it here is, is to make the property better than when we found it. Our family really wanted to make a good go of this farm, so we needed the best advice. And without the best advice, we thought we were struggling in our own development of it. So we obviously researched and found that local land services had the advice that we were looking for. Christian and Wendy have sustainability in their hearts. They wanted to get advice from different areas of the local land services so they could make sure that they were going to have a sustainable farm in the long term. And he's trying to work best with what he's got. That isn't going to degrade the environment. It's very satisfying for me to help landholders achieve all goals. With Christian, we've been working together for over a year through process of negotiation and communication. The local land services have got Christian the result he wants. Mm -hmm.